Okay, now today I'm going to show you how to put the program together on um, the tablet. So first you select Toggle Test, and you um, hit Copy Select, and I'm just going to call this Full Program. And then hit OK, and click on Full Program, and open it. And so here I have toggle test. So this is everything that was in toggle test. And so I'm just going to zoom out a bit. And I'm, first I'm going to add the arm control. And so I need to create a new variable. And I'm, I need to call it arm position. And then uh, set arm position to zero. I'm going to put this at the end of the init. Now I'm going to init my motors, so first thing is I need to set right arm dot direction to direction dot reverse. And now I need to stop and reset encoders for all of my motors, so just set their mode and I'm just going to duplicate this. So I have four of these. So I have right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm, and so the first two are going to be stop and reset encoder, and then the next two are going to be run to position, and so there you can see what I have. Okay, and then I have to set their powers to zero, so I'm just going to set their powers to zero. And okay, so I'm just going to check that I didn't miss anything. Okay, now I'm going to rec um, add the teleop, the, the con driver controlled part. And the first thing that I have to do is um, set right arm and uh, left arm power to 1. And then um, now I have to actually set their target position, right arm and left arm target position to... Um, uh, the arm position, so right arm and left arm, and then I have to just select arm position. Okay, now that's the basic gist of this, but I have two more things to do. So, um, the first I have to do is, um, set the, um, arm position variable, I have to change it by gamepad one dot left stick y. And the next thing that I have to do is actually go to utilities and telemetry and um uh, I'm gonna put the arm position in as um telemetry so that we get feedback on it. And I'm just gonna type arm position and drag arm position into telemetry. And then I'm just going to make sure that I made no errors, and that's all there really is to this part of the um, video. Now I'm going to add the arcade mode. So first I need to initialize the drive motors. And so I first need to set right drive and left drive dot power to zero. So I'm just going to do this all at the top. And then I need to reverse left drive. So I'm just going to reverse left drive. 
and then I just need to set their zero power behaviors to break. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to set right drive zero power behavior to break. And sorry, um, uh, and then I need to set left drive dot zero power behavior break and I'm just gonna zoom out a little more and then I need to create the variable power gain so power gain and I need to set power gain to point five Okay, and that's what I have to do for um, the actual initialization. Now I need to um, oh, I need to actually have the drive it actually drive. So I'm going to set I need to have two blocks, right drive and left drive power. So right drive power is going to be gamepad one dot right stick y plus gamepad one dot right stick x, and all that multiplied by power gain. So let's do that. So first, I need to slide a DC motor block. Set right drive dot power, and then a math block. First, a multiplication, and then an addition. And then input my gamepad, so gamepad one dot right. Okay, and I'm just gonna slide over so you can see all of this. And I'm gonna multiply this by power gain. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this block and make it for left drive and then what we'll have to do is change that plus to a minus and that is really all there is to making a teleop program so there you have it